Hello, my name is Miranda um, and I am an independent pet pro for Paw Tree. And I had a um, event happen today that reminded me um, the importance of knowing information about cat UTIs. So one of my cats, Branch, is his name from those of you that are parents from the Trolls movie. Um, he has a history of bladder crystals and UTIs. So he is um, has been very sick and has been very healthy, but we watch him very closely. So about, I don't know, eight, 10 months ago, I switched him from the prescription food to um, our pottery food and have been monitoring him really closely. Um, and today I took him into the vet because I noticed that he was grooming himself more than I had noticed in the past. So on the other side of the screen, you will see some um, symptoms of cat UTIs that I wanted to share with you. Um, painful urination, which you will see if you're monitoring the litter box. Uh, difficulty urinating, you will also see. Um, he had that when his crystals were really bad. He was straining and you could hear the pain. Um, blood in the urine, which is hard to see in a litter box, but um, if it's definitely there, you will see it. Uh, urinating more often or in an incorrect location. When Branch had bladder crystals and his urethra was blocked, he actually was trying to urinate everywhere in the house just because he was trying to go um, and he didn't care where it went. Um, you will also see the blockage, like what he had licking of the genitals, which is what I noticed Branch doing more recently in the past few days and why I took him to the vet today. Um, the odor of the urine and the odor of the litter box could be much stronger as well. So um, if your cat is having any of those symptoms, the most important thing to do is to go into the vet. Thankfully, when we went into the vet, I was just uh, overly concerned. I'm a crazy uh, cat mom and the vet tested his urine and he was perfectly fine, which is absolutely wonderful because the last thing that I want to do is put him back on the prescription food. But there are a couple things that we are doing to hopefully help keep him okay. So the very first thing that we're doing is we are adding into his diet, this bladder support plus. You can see the little container here. Um, and it's a, it's a soft chew and we sprinkle it onto his food, onto his hard food. So you can see the size, it comes in a bag. And it is going to be difficult for me to open, of course, during this. Um, but what I do is I take the, the soft chew and I actually crumble it on top of his kibble, not on top of his soft food, if you can see how small that is. Um, but for some reason, my cats do not like anything sprinkled on top of their wet food. They only like it on top of their dry food. Some cats, other cats might be different, but <laughs> that's how um, my cats do. Then uh, you can see here the Bladder Support Plus. It is really recommended for bladder health issues. My cats will never go without this. You can also use it for dogs too. Um, and it really supports and maintains that normal bladder health and helps to maintain the normal urine pH. The other thing that we do is per give uh, the cats and actually our dogs too, but the paw pairing superfood seasonings. Um, my cats and dogs really love the salmon but they also really love the chicken liver. Um, and you can see inside of here, everything in this container is raw and freeze dried. It always starts with a protein, but then you also have a ton of fruit and vegetables inside of it. I sprinkle it on top of their food, kind of like what you would do salt and pepper with your own food. Um, and then other than that, that uh, we also give them the food as well. Um, but that is how, so far, knock on wood, I've been able to keep Branch um, away from UTIs and bladder crystals. He will always run a higher risk um, than other cats. Uh, some cats are just more prone to it. So I will probably always be that uh, overprotective cat mom and take him into the vet more often than what he needs to. But um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, so comment here, replay if you watched it and let me know if any of your cats have had, um, UTIs or bladder crystals and how you've, um, addressed it.
All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.